This is Little Hands Creations instructional video for beginner sewing featuring curved lines. So the first thing that I'm gonna wanna do is get my petal exactly where I want it to be on the ground. Once my petal is within reach and I've taken my foot off of it, I'm gonna turn on my sewing machine. I'm gonna make sure that my bunny's up, that my presser foot is up, and I'm gonna go ahead and put my project under the presser foot. So far with straight lines and turning corners, we have been putting our project in so that the line feeds right into our presser foot. With the curved lines, it's a little bit different since they're so curvy. So I am going to place my project under the presser foot in a way that the curved line feeds right into the presser foot, just like that. I can see my line in the window of my presser foot. And so then whenever I'm ready, I'm gonna go ahead and stitch this line. Curve lines can be really difficult, and I don't think that it's important to do them perfectly and to have your stitches be right on this line. I think that the most important thing is that you are swinging a curve in this direction and then swinging a curve in the other direction. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see my hands in this video and you can see how much I have to swing my hands to create these curves. It's also a little bit like riding a bike where um, the easiest way to turn and reposition is if you are moving. So try not to stop. I know that that can be tricky if your machine starts going a little bit faster, but do your best to ease off the pedal and not stop during your curved lines. So now that I've got my project all set up, I'm gonna go ahead and stitch my line and move my hands. I'm swinging my hands in one direction and then swinging them all the way back in the other direction. When I'm done, I get my bunny up, presser foot up, project out. So I did pretty well on those, if I say so myself, but let's talk about what happens if you get off. So let's say that your sewing machine just goes too fast and you end up over here. Well, what you can do is use the technique that you learned in turning corners to get your needle down, lift up your presser foot, pivot back in that general direction, press her foot down, and now get yourself back on track. So you wanna move your hands. It's just like riding a bike. So if you wanna go to the right, you swing your project to the left. If you wanna go to the left, you swing your project to the right. And then every time when you get done, bunny up, press her foot up, project out.